All right, it's time for my June favorites. I am on the ball with these favorite videos. I'm trying to do them every month now. And I have been traveling a lot, so a lot of this stuff is stuff that um, is travel friendly and stuff that um, minimal makeup, you know. For foundation, I've been using the Coastal Sense HD liquid foundations. I mix 11 and 13, so when I wear liquid foundation, I use this. And I still use my Bare Minerals on an everyday basis. I actually didn't wear makeup for like a week because sometimes it's so hot, you definitely don't want to pack on all the makeup. Now, with it being summer and with me wanting my makeup to stay on, I also have been loving, and I still love this, the Urban Decay Dumi Spray. It is definitely necessary during the summer if you're going to wear makeup. This is going to keep your makeup on. If you go out somewhere, it's going to keep your makeup on all night. If you're going out during the day, it's going to keep your makeup on when it's like hot and you're sweating and stuff. My know? favorite eyeliner is the L'Oreal Linear Intense. I have grown to love this again because it's so quick. I didn't feel like taking a gel eyeliner with me, so I was using this for winged eyeliner, and I use this today as well. So definitely love this. I also have been loving these Revlon Colorstay Mineralize. Uh, finishing powders and these were 75% off at CVS so I got these these are normally like $13 maybe and I got them for like three something each that's a still definitely so I have all the colors this is like a pinky uh, marbleized one and this is the one I have on my cheekbone right now as the highlight it really gives my cheekbones that nice highlight that nice pop so I really like this color as the highlight. This one is called Brighton. And I also got Suntan Matte, which would be a really nice bronzer if you are of a lighter complexion. But for me, it's just like, <laughs> I don't use this on myself because it, do it doesn't do anything for me. It's kind of similar to my skin tone. But this one I like to use as a bronzer just to give myself a little glow. And this one is Sunkiss. Love My this. My favorite concealer is still the MAC Pro Longwear. This concealer is amazing. But I also am loving the MAC concealers that I bought in the MAC Pro store. I ordered some for myself and I have, a, have this palette in my kit. This is amazing. I love these. If you have not tried these out, I would definitely order them. They are amazing. They will last you a long time if you're a makeup artist or even if you just want this for your personal makeup collection. I am also loving the gel eyeliners from Coastal Scents. I have all of them in here and they are just amazing for bases. And one of my favorites is... Skyline. I love to put this on my waterline because it makes my eyes look a lot wider. If you put a blue on your waterline, it will make your eyes look bigger and brighter. So that's just a little quick trick. My favorite eyelashes are the number 48s from my beauty supply store. The ones that are in the blue and white boxes or the black and white boxes. I love these. These are just really nice on almost any eye shape because of the way it flares out at the end. It just makes your eyes look more elongated and flirty on the ends. I really As love it. the brow set, instead of using my Maybelline Great Lash and Clear, I've been using my Ardell Sculpting Gel. And I prefer this over it because it's not, it doesn't have as much come out. It's just enough to keep my brows in place, which I love. So I definitely am loving this. My favorite nail polish is this Sally Hansen Mint Sorbet. It's a really pretty color. I love it. And somebody's going to ask, I went back to uh, gel nails, and these are the liquid gel nails, not the powder gel nails. These are better for your nails, and they last a lot longer. And... Basically, my nail is just painted with French and then a gel is put over. So I could paint my nails and take it off with pure acetone and it would look like this. I can still paint them, but they still look good when I take them off. And I got them much shorter because they were just getting out of control. 
So yeah. I've been using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish as a setting powder again. I re-found my love for it. So uh, this is what I used to set my makeup today. It's just so beautiful in the summer. It gives you that really beautiful glow. For mascara, I went back to my MAC Opulash, which just has a really big brush on it. But I really like this mascara for elongating my eyelashes and adding volume. My favorite lip gloss, which I'm wearing today, is this Fashion Fair Lip Teaser. This one's in bubblegum. Love it. My favorite brush, and I don't normally talk about brushes, but this brush is amazing. I've been using it for liquid foundation for the past week. And this is amazing and it's dirty because I used it today but this is the Coastal Sense what brush is this this is the divine powder brush buffer brush but you can use it for liquid foundation which is what I use it for it really just buffs the foundation into your skin it just looks airbrushed it looks flawless I love this brush because it does the work for you so if you haven't tried this brush out from Coastal Sense I believe it's one of their new brushes Definitely give it a try. My favorite blush, I went back to NARS Gina. I had totally forgot about this blush. This was my favorite, like, what, a year ago? Well, whenever I bought this, this is such a beautiful color. I mean, a lot of people rave about Taj Mahal. This is just utterly beautiful. I love this blush. If you are of a lighter complexion, you can wear this blush. If you're of a darker complexion, you can wear this blush. This is a very pretty universal blush because it's like a peachy orange color. With a light hand or even with a you know, heavier hand, depending on your skin tone, this just looks gorgeous. I definitely love this blush. So those are my favorites of the month. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and uh, definitely stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be pumping out a lot of videos because I definitely am behind. So you will be seeing a lot of me, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Hopefully you like it. But I would love to see you guys video responses or things that you were loving during the month of June. So I will talk to you dolls and gents later. Bye. I thought I would throw in something that I'm not liking this month because it's something that I hate. And I don't come across much makeup that I hate because I love makeup and I try to make any product work somewhere or another, if, even if it's not in the way that it's supposed to be used. But this MAC Face and Body Foundation is a no-go for me. I do not like the consistency of it. I don't know if I got a bad one but I don't like it. A lot of people love this foundation. The consistency is just, once I put it on my face, it's it's not slippery or slick. It just kind of sticks in one place when I'm trying to blend it, which is very annoying, especially since it's supposed to be a very light foundation. So I don't know, maybe I'm not shaking it up well enough before I use it, but I don't like it and a lot of people have asked me why I don't like it and that's the reason. I wanted to like this foundation but I don't. Okay.